Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to solve tuple square problem using two different ways. In the problem, we have a big red square leaning on these three squares on top of each other. And we are supposed to find the area of the red square. As our prep, let's find the dimensions of each square. The area of square is one of the sides squared. So the dimensions of the purple square is root 3 by root 3. And the dimensions of the blue square is square root of 12 by square root of 12. And if we break it into prime factors, it's 2 squared times 3, which is 2 root 3. So the dimensions of the square is 2 root 3 by root 2. Similarly, the dimensions of the orange square is square root of 27 by square root of 27, which is 3 squared times 3, which is 3 root 3. So the dimensions of this square is 3 root 3 by 3 root 3. Now, let's continue further. Now, we know the dimensions of each square. Let's write them. So we have root 3, root 3. We have 2 root 3 by 2 root 3. And 3 root 3 by 3 root 3. We can compute the gap here. So the difference here is 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3, which is root 3. Now we are going to apply Euclidean geometry and analytic geometry. Let's make our shape sit on the 2D XY plane. And let's zoom on this part. Let's make one of the vertex of the red square is our origin. So here is our origin. And if we extend this line, this is a line which is linear and we know the equation of a line, let's call it L, is mx plus b. We can define three points on this line, this touching point here, here and here. Let's call here point 1, point 2 and point 3. The x-coordinate of point 1 is here and let's call it alpha. The x-coordinate of point 2 is here which is alpha plus root 3. And the x-coordinate of point 3 is here. And let's call it zeta. Now y-coordinates. y-coordinate of P1 is the height of the orange square, which is root 3. So let's write here the coordinates of the points. x-coordinate of point 1 is alpha. That's what we call it. And the y-coordinate is the height which is 3 root 3. P2 is alpha plus root 3, comma, the height of the orange square plus the height of the blue square. 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3, which is 5 root 3. And the coordinates of point 3 is zeta, comma, the height of the orange plus the height of the blue plus the height of the purple square, which is 6 root 3. Now our plan is to find the numerical values of point 1, point 2 and point 3 and applying distance formula from origin through P3. We know that 
equation of a line is mx plus b. Here m is the slope, which is delta y over delta x, and b is the y-intercept. In our case, our y-intercept is 0, so we can refine this equation as L of x is equal to just mx because our b is 0, our y-intercept is 0. Now we can work on slope in terms of alpha. Slope is rise over run, which is rise over run informally or formally delta y over delta x which is y2 minus y1 difference of y coordinates over difference of x coordinates so our rise over run we're going to use origin and point one our y2 of point one is 3 root 3 this is y2 coordinate minus y1 coordinate is 0 x2 coordinate is alpha and x1 coordinate is 0 so our slope is 3 root 3 over alpha in terms of alpha so this is our m our equation of line was lx equals to mx which was L of x is equal to 3 root 3 over alpha x. Now, if we plug in point 2 in this equation, we can solve for alpha. So this is our y coordinate. So y coordinate of point 2 is 5 root 3. Our slope is 3 root 3 over alpha and our x coordinate is alpha plus root 3. Here we can divide both sides on root 3 and we can distribute 3 over alpha into our parentheses. So we have 5 here. 3 over alpha times alpha is 3 and 3 over alpha times root 3 is 3 root 3 over alpha. And we can subtract 3 on both sides. So 2 equals to 3 root 3 over alpha. And if we multiply both sides on alpha and divide by 2, we obtain alpha as 3 root 3 over 2. So this is our alpha value. And we can plug this alpha value in our slope. So our slope was 3 root 3 over alpha. And our alpha is 3 root 3 over 2. 3 root 3 over 3 root 3 over 2. Using keep change flip, we obtain 2. It's going to be like. 3 root 3 over 1 times 2 over 3 root 3. We keep change and flip. Now we found the equation of our line which is L of x is equal to 2x. So equation of this line is 2x. Now we have the equation so we can plug in point 3 and solve for zeta. In the equation, our y coordinate is 6 root 3 is equal to 2 times. Instead of x, we're going to plug in x coordinate of point 3, which is zeta. Now, if you divide both sides on 2, zeta is 6 root 3 over 2, which is 3 root 3. Now we have the coordinates of all points now. Point 1 is, we found it x coordinate as 3 root 3 over 2, comma 3 root 3. Point 2 was 3 root 2 over 
2 plus root 3, comma 5 root 3, and point 3 is our zeta was 3 root 3, comma y coordinate was 6 root 3. Now we have everything. Let's plug in, put together, and use the distance formula. Now we have all the ingredients, so we're going to apply the distance formula from origin through point 3, which is going to be the side of our big square. So distance from origin to point 3 Let's write the distance formula first. Distance on the 2D plane is difference of y coordinates squared plus difference of x coordinates. So delta y squared plus delta x squared. So in our case, point 3, y coordinate of point 3 is 6 root 3 minus 0, the origin, squared plus x coordinate, which is 3 root 3 minus 0 squared. So 6 root 3 squared is 36 times 3, which is 108. 3 root 3 squared is 3 squared times root 3 squared, which is 9 times 3, 27. So what we obtain is square root of 135. So that is the one side of our big red square. So if one side is 135 square root, then the area is 135. So that was the one way. Let's continue with solution two. Let's go ahead with the second solution. Second solution is more practical, faster, but it requires deeper knowledge of similar triangles because you need to recognize similar triangles here. We already found the dimensions of those squares here Let's write it. Here we have a right triangle. Let me highlight. And we have another right triangle. Let me make it deeper blue. And let's extract them. The short leg of the brown triangle here is 3 root 3 minus 2 root 3. The difference from here to here, which is root 3. And the long leg of that triangle is the height of the blue square, which is 2 root 3. The height of the big right triangle is 6 root 3. That's the sum of 3 root 3, 2 root 3, and root 3. Now we're going to find the similarity between these two triangles and find the ratio and find the short leg. Let's extract this from the shape. These two triangles are similar triangles by angle-angle similarity. If we can prove two angles are similar, then we can say that these two triangles are similar by angle-angle. 
they are both right triangles, so they have both 90 degree here. And their angle here, theta, is the same. Let's go to original shape. Our site is a linear function on the 2D plane. And that was y equals to 2x. And the slope at the line is same at every point. So this angle theta here and angle theta here is the same. So we have angle-angle similarity between these two triangles. Short leg of the triangle was root 3. Long leg of the small triangle was 2 root 3, which was the height of the blue square. Height of the big triangle is 3 root 3 plus 2 root 3 plus root 3, which is 6 root 3. And we can find the short leg here. Let's call it x. We need to find the ratio. Similar triangles are in proportion. So long leg over long leg, 6 root 3 divided by 2 root 3 is 3. So our ratio is 3. That means it is enlarged three times. So root 3 has to be enlarged three times, which is 3 times root 3. Now, the hypotenuse of the big triangle will be the side of our red square. So let's call here S, which is our hypotenuse, also the side of the red square. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the hypotenuse in the right triangle. So S squared will be equal to short leg squared plus long leg squared. Then our side will be equal to square root of square of this is 27, 108. Then it's going to be this. So our square is, as we found previously, root 135 by root 135. So the area is 135. I hope you liked both methods. There are different methods as well. I just wanted to introduce these two. Thank you for watching.